Hey, tiny people living in my computer. I'm Finn. And welcome back to whatever this show would be called. I don't know. I do these a lot where I just sit and talk. Um, this video is about me moving because that'll be happening finally. Uh, it'll still be a little bit, but I got everything scheduled pretty much where I'm ready to. Um, I just have to wait until... September's over, so I'll probably be moving in October, if not November, but I'm here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about why, I'm here to talk about uh, all the positives from it, I'm here to talk about just everything I have to say about it, because it means so much to me. Um, I'd like to, at the front, give a big shout out to my buddy Amadon, shout out to Amadon Beans, who is in the description, who is the, the feller I'm going to be moving in with, he's my best friend in the whole world, and he's done... More for me than anyone in my family, really. I love that fucker. So, big shout out for Amadon. Um, to begin, I just kind of want to say that it isn't like a new thing. Because uh, that's always the thing with, with younger people when they want to move out. It's always the thing of like, Well, you should wait until this, and this is, a, this is impromptu, and it's bad for you. No, I've been talking about it socially with people for like two and a half years. I've been talking about it here on YouTube since the Finn's, since the Finn.png channel started, which is almost three years ago, I think. And then I've been talking about it with Amadon since we were like 14. He's 19 now. I'm about to be 19. So we've been talking about it for a fucking while. It's not new whatsoever to us. We have been conversating about moving together. Uh, there were talks of me moving in with him and his mother, and then there were talks of him moving down here to stay with me, and then we were talking about getting an apartment together, and then recently everything got settled, and it's a thing where I'm moving to where he is, and he's got like uh, a small home, basically. He's, we're paying it off. He is now. I'm going to be paying for it later. But, uh, that set up, uh, so before I get any other people that are like, you're so young, you shouldn't be moving and stuff, it's like, I, I don't have to pay rent or anything for, like, the first couple months, so, I mean, it's not like I'm losing money, I, I get to stay with, like, one of the only people I trust, I get to, uh, do this anytime I want, all the fucking time, um, I'll be able to do more of this with with him and with the time and the space and the freedom. Uh, so I'm just going to start talking about the shit that I want to talk about now. Um, I guess to start, I just want to say that it's going to be so helpful for me because I have a lot of issues with where I live currently. Uh, and I guess I can just go on this little rant and talk about all these things. Number one is I don't have any privacy, really. Like, I have my bedroom, but, like, people just be open to my door and shit. Like, I'll be in here half naked, half asleep, and motherfuckers will swing my door open and have a conversation with me. And then just fucking walk off with my door open and shit. And that's annoying. Um... <laughs> uh, None of my stuff is safe. Like, I've had so much shit in here get stolen. Like, I have, you can kind of hear it ringing a little in the background. I have a mini fridge. I say a mini fridge. It's still, like, three feet tall. I think that's a pretty big mini fridge. But, uh... My mini fridge, I stock it with drinks or snacks or whatever. And this was especially bad when I worked. I'm, I'm currently unemployed, but I'm working on getting another job. Um, especially when I worked shit would just disappear out of there. And it's like... I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like, I know how... Like, I, I, uh... The last month I worked at McDonald's, I took pictures every day whenever I left. And then I would come home and be like, huh, there's like five things missing. What's the deal with that? Huh? Like, what's the... What's... What's going on there? Um... Which is fucking upsetting, of course. Um, stuff like that. Um, 
I've had my money disappear. Um, I started working when I wasn't an adult yet, and I didn't have any bank account stuff. I didn't have, like, a bank account or anything. So, for the first... I didn't even get one whenever I turned 18. I waited until... So, I, I had, like, eight months of me working where I would get my check, go cash it, and then I'd just have cash because I didn't have any, like, account or anything or a card or anything like that. And I had probably 300 bucks just go missing over the course of that eight months. Um, but I had no way to prove anyone did it. I just knew that I had not bought anything, but, you know... Uh, it's like I would what I did was I had an envelope that I would keep the money in and then I'd only keep like a hundred or whatever on me and then one day I came home and the envelope was basically empty there there was like 250 in there and it was gone so that like I've had money disappear I've had my stuff get stolen um on multiple occasions, I've had this exact laptop get taken for whatever reason. Um, it was taken by a cousin of mine who then tried to sell it. Luckily, I figured out that he was trying to do that. Because um, it has all my information on it, by the way. It has all my banking. It has uh, all my YouTube stuff. It, it has literally everything that I... Anything that I have that is not f a physical thing is on here. All my emails, all my, like, all my messages and shit, every picture I've taken over the past, like, three and a half years. Like, everything I have is on here, and Rob was just gonna go sell it. He didn't take my, he's fucking ten, he didn't, like, take my stuff off of it. He just took it to go sell it at school. Really smart, and I'm glad I figured out, um, uh, anything else like that I want to point out? No, not really. No, we're good on that front. Uh, other issues with living here, I am not, uh, religious. Uh, I don't, I'm not an atheist. Like, I don't, I don't openly think there isn't a god, but I don't agree with, like, a Bible, for example. Like, I think there's something out there, but I don't know what the fuck it is. And I don't trust a 2,000-year-old book that is being rewritten and translated 850 times, and I sure as hell don't trust some old dude in a in a in a in a suit telling me this is what your creator wants for you. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if I'm infinitely powerful, infinite, like my infinity is how powerful I am, and I make everything that's ever existed, I'm not gonna give a fuck if that thing believes in me or not. I'm just not. That just doesn't make sense to me. I'm going on a rant now. I apologize for ranting about that. Uh, but I am not religious. I think there's something, I don't know what, and I don't really care. Uh, but my family is extremely religious. I couldn't tell you the exact denomination of Christianity they're down with, but they're down with it. Uh, and they're down with it to a fucking fault. <laughs> My dad, especially, is, like, extremely homophobic, racist, uh, there's a lot of sexism through there, uh, a lot of misogyny, uh, he's an, he's overall an asshole because he thinks he's, like, just better than people, he puts himself on, like, a pedestal, and he expects everyone else to also do that to him. Uh, and he also tried to get me to kind of feel that way and tries to put me over others, which is weird. And not in like a, oh, you're my kid, I want to protect you way. It's like, no, you should be better than everyone because you're my kid. I'm the best and you're my kid, therefore you should be better than everyone else. Um, so that's annoying. And then it's like, my best friend is gay. My family's homophobic. You can see how I have an issue with that. Um... Like, my past three romantic partners have been, like, uh, a Muslim who is uh, from Kurdistan, so it's not an American, a, a brown girl, uh, then there was Kylie, a black girl, and then 
uh, a Mexican girl. My family's racist, like extremely so. Like my dad got out of prison, and his first thought wasn't, "Oh, I'm out of prison for the first time in three years." It's, "Thank God I'm not around those black people." So that was that was a fun that was a fun car ride listening to him rant about his hatred of of the blacks. Um, so there's there's the bigotry that's also an issue for me. Um, also, uh, for those who don't know, I myself, you know, um, so that's rough because they don't think that that's a lot. They think that's unnatural and whatnot. They think I'm going to go to hell if that's accurate. Uh, they have no clue. They also don't know about the whole, uh, uh, woman, woman. They don't know about that. Which is kind of fun, I guess. I don't know. But uh, they hate those. My dad threatened to kill one of those, actually. Um, so, you know, I can't really talk to them about that. So I can't be me. I can't really be myself here. <laughs> like, at all. Um, also, thing about me, I'm autistic. Um, and that's not like, a, oh, I'm retarded because I'm stupid. No, I'm... The only reason I'm really staying until October is because... I don't know if you can read these. This is the stuff that they're looking at in my next appointment. I'm autistic. <laughs> they're, like, getting my paperwork done as we speak. Um, weird that I have to wait until September for it, but eh. Um, but, yeah, I'm autistic. I have a lot of sensory issues. I have a lot of communication issues, social issues... Um, I don't understand a lot of things, sarcasm especially. Like, I do sarcasm for jokes, and when other people do it for a joke, I can usually pick up on it, but I can't actually understand sarcasm. And a lot of times I have to, like, ask and be like, hey, is this, are you joking? Is this a genuine thing? I can't tell, and then that becomes, like, an issue and blah, 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 blah. But my, my family, my mom has autistic kids. She has two nonverbal children. Well, one of them's nonverbal, one of them has the ability to speak, but she, like, doesn't, if that makes sense. Like, she can use, like, individual words, but she doesn't do, like, sentences. Um, and then my younger sister, that isn't one of those, one, that sounds rude. The sister I have that isn't autistic has ADHD, and then I'm autistic, and the lady at the appointment kind of said that I probably have both, which is a fun can of worms and makes a lot of sense, but, um... But, like, my mom understands it, and she can... She gets it, and she can talk with me about it in a way that's, like, healthy. But, like, everybody over... She's, like, the only person in my family that does. Every single other person, like, barely believes that autism is a thing. And it's like, no, that's not a thing. And then it's like... Everybody over here is like, why do you do this, and this, and this, and this? And why do you do that? And why do you talk like this? And why do you say these things? And why did you do this when you were little? And da 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 and then I bring all those things up to the, like, site. I don't know what you would label it. I guess a therapist? I don't know. Bring it all to, up to the lady at my appointment. She's like, oh, yeah, those are a lot of signs. And da 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 And we keep going and keep going and keep going. And she's like, yeah, you're... All that stuff feeds into the fact that you're autistic. And it's like, that's cool. And then I come home and tell them. And I'm like, here's the reason for these things you were asking about. And they go, nope, not true. That is inaccurate. You're not one of them. My kid ain't autistic, god damn it, let me tell you. So that's fun. That's always great. And also my sensory issues are dog ass around here. Because everyone yells all the time. Everyone's getting into fights. I've seen the cops at my house more times than I've seen my best friend in person and we've known each other ten years. We went to school together for fuck's sake. <laughs> we went to school together for... I don't know... Six years... And I think I've, I genuinely think I've seen more cops here than I've seen him in my whole life. And I've, I've lived here for 10 years. I've known him for 10 years. Over that 10 year period, I've seen more cops than I've seen my best friend. And we went to school together every day for like six years. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Like, cops are here all the time. So much, like, domestic abuse, neglect, uh, threats. So many things of, like, uh, the, like, physical abuse happens a lot. Luckily not to the children. 
um, thank fuck. <laughs> Listen, if there's a god, thank you for not letting people lay hands on these kids. Jesus. I, God. Um, there's a lot of shit like that. Um, and that's always cool. I love being surrounded by that. It makes me so happy. And then, um, my grandma is the only adult in my entire fucking family. Literally everyone from, from my, from... From my 70-year-old granny to me, the 18-year-old, me and my grandma are the only fucking adults that don't have a drug issue, who don't and or haven't. Like, there, there's some people who don't anymore, but me and her are the only ones who've never had a drug problem. And a lot of them have them currently. Uh, every uncle I have has an issue right now. Uh, all of my aunts, except for one, have an issue right now. Uh, my mom doesn't, but that's because she, a fucking caretaker and legal, she just can't. She will just go to prison pretty much immediately because she's always having to, you get it, she's always dealing with kids and shit and that wouldn't roll. And then my dad, I think he is because he's lost, he's lost like 30 pounds over the course of like two weeks. He's gotten fucking tiny and he's restless and he's fucking always gone, but never at work, you know? Uh, so there's a lot of drug issues, alcoholism. There's, dude, there's so much fucking alcohol in my house currently. I'm the only fucking person here right now. I don't drink. <laughs> I have in the past, and I stopped because it was terrible for me, and I don't plan on drinking ever again. Maybe for, like, a celebration, I'll have, like, a shot or something, but, like, I'm not, I'm not down to drink. Fuck that. But, like, there's a fuck ton of alcohol here. Um, and that's just... I'll just... I'll stop ranting about that shit. And I'll get to the to the moving stuff. I understand that this is probably boring to hear this for the 98th time. Uh, but those are reasons that I want to move. That are because of here. Other reasons I want to move are content. With Amadon, I can make a fuckload of content. Uh, I can make a fuckload of content by myself. Because I'll have free time. Like... When I'm there, I'm not going to have to worry about, oh, I can't talk about this topic because this person's going to walk in. It's like, it's me and him. Like, sure, his dad's there, but like, what fuck's his dad going to do? You know, like, bro can't fucking walk. <laughs> he ain't talking to me. Uh, no disrespect to the guy or nothing, but like, you get what I mean. Uh... But content's a thing that'll happen. Also, security, safety, feeling like I can be a human. Um, money reasons. Uh, here, everyone's in debt. Like, everyone's in debt. There's, like, five mortgages on this house. Fucking, like, paying so many different, like, insurances on cars and shit. And then, like, there, there was a period where I had to pay for... I was not working. I was between, like, a break of work where, like, I had uh, put in my two weeks, stopped, and then went back in a couple months. In that middle period where I was not making any money, I had to give almost $1,000 to my aunt to pay. Well, no. I had to... It was over a course of time. It's not like I just threw it all at her at once. But uh, buying food, paying for lights, paying for water, paying for electric, like, all that shit... Meanwhile, I'm a kid, and you're fucking 38. Well, no, she's younger. She's like 35. I'm like, at this point, barely 18, and I'm paying for your shit? Like, how the fuck does any of that make sense? But with Amadon, I won't be doing that. I'll be paying for his shit and my shit, because we live together, and that's about it. Um, other reasons I'm moving, it's uh, the population is a lot smaller. And I don't do people. I'm not a people. I'm like, I'm a people person because I like the individual people, not because I like people as a whole. So, like, I like my friends. If I choose to hang out with people, I'm a people person. But I don't do people. Smaller population makes me happy. Uh, the area isn't in the middle of, like, a shitty city. <laughs> like, I live in a very small city. But it's not even a... It's a fucking town. It's almost a village. But, like, out there is m more... 
of like a rural area, uh, which is helpful. It sucks for my allergies, but it's helpful for like everything else. Also, my dogs. We have puppies. Currently, they're just Amadon's puppies, but they are my, they're my babies too. <laughs> they need two parents, damn it. Um, so my pups are there. I get to bring my dog, who you guys haven't seen other than community posts because I, she's not here, but I get to take her. That's cool. Um, there's more work opportunities there because for some reason here, the only opportunities are the two factories, which won't take me for some reason, and then fast food and shit like that. There's a bunch of jobs up there and stuff like that. Uh, there's all sorts of reasons why I want to go. And it's not like I've randomly decided over the course of a night. We've been talking about it since we were fucking 14. Well, no. He was 14. I was 13. Because it was during summer. And my birthday is at the beginning of a school year. So I was 13. I'm turning 19. It's been six years, for fuck's sake. Well, not... It's been five and change. It's It'll be six years next summer. So, yeah, you know. It's been f fucking five years of talking about it. It's fucking wild that that much time has passed. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. The actual movement, uh will be happening somewhere between October and January. I'm hoping October, maybe November. I don't want it. I don't want it to be next year. I want it to be now. I'm just waiting on my appointments to get done. And then I could go. I need my truck as well, so I have to get my license. I need to get my license, and then I need to do my appointments, and then I'm pretty much good. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. I'm... I'm very... I don't know how to describe it. I'm... I'm... I have a genuine, like, happiness overflowing me when I think about it. And I dream about it all the time. And I talk about it to people all the time. I... I cannot fucking wait. It's gonna be funky to see all my shit in the back of my truck, too. It's gonna be weird seeing all my shit. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Um... Love you guys. Bye-bye.